when French troops in the Central African Republic, working under a United Nations mandate, were accused of raping six young boys, the UN failed the very people they were sent there to protect. According to a highly anticipated, over 100-page-long independent report commissioned by the UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon, the United Nations and its agencies grossly mishandled those allegations. The report states, among other things, instead of following up on the allegations of child rape, the claims went from desk to desk, inbox to inbox, across multiple UN offices, with no one willing to take responsibility. The lack of coordination between policies leaves most victims unattended and vulnerable. The scathing criticism reaches high UN officials around the world. From the former top UN official in the Central African Republic to the current High Commissioner of Human Rights in Geneva to New York and Ban Ki-moon's former Chief of Staff, all came under question in the report. Ban Ki-moon has been presiding over the United Nations now for nine years. He's been saying that he has zero tolerance for sexual exploitation and abuse. And this report essentially shows us that that's more slogan than reality. At UN headquarters, a spokesperson for Ban Ki-moon said the Secretary General accepts the findings and agrees the UN failed to respond meaningfully. What does the Secretary General plan to do to make sure that those systemic failures are not taking place in some of the other 15 mm -hmm. countries where the UN has peacekeepers? The panel makes it clear that we need to take a new approach to sexual exploitation and abuse to ensure that it is also seen very much through the lens of human rights violations, not just of misconduct uh, by troops, that we need to align the two mandates. The problems and shortcomings at the United Nations have now been laid bare for everyone to see. As the report itself states, if there is no follow through or action, it could only exacerbate the perception by some that the UN is more concerned about rhetoric than action. Gabriel Ozondo, Al Jazeera at the United Nations.